the Russian winter version T-80U tanks with white camouflage were seen moving towards the Ukrainian border. Most likely, they will soon be added to the Russian forces fighting in Ukraine. Russia has thrown a large number of tanks into the Ukrainian conflict, but its armor forces have also suffered significant losses. Therefore, it is necessary to increase more troops and weapons, especially main battle tanks, to compensate for the losses. T-80U tanks have been deployed to the Ukrainian battlefield since the early days of the conflict. Unlike the T-72, T-80B, and T-90, the T-80U version is usually only equipped for allied units, responsible for protecting high-value targets. It is known that T-80U is the modernized version of the T-80B series. It was launched in 1985 and later entered the service of the Soviet Army. The T-80U is armed with a fully stabilized 2A46M1 125mm smooth bore gun, fitted with an autoloader. It fires armor-piercing APDS hit and high explosive fragmentation rounds. Effective range of fire with APFSDS route is 2,000 to 3,000 meters in day and 2,000 to 2,600 at night. Armor penetration is about 590 to 630 mm at 2,000 meters range. The tank can also launch 9M-119M reflex anti-tank guided missiles, which have a maximum range of 5 km and can target low-flying helicopters. Secondary armament consists of 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and 12.7mm machine gun mounted on the top of the roof. In addition, on this version, the combat crew is also equipped with a T01P02T night vision device to support target detection at ranges up to 6,400 meters. The T80U is also equipped with better armor than previous versions, specifically the Contact 5 Explosive Reactive Armor System. The thermal imaging viewfinder helps the T-80U fight more effectively at night, which was a major limitation for our previous Soviet manned battle tanks. The initial version of the T-80 used gas turbine engines, but the T-80U and T-80UD switched to DSR engines to save fuel although they still have a maximum capacity of up to 1,250 horsepower. In addition to Russia, Cyprus and South Korea are also operating this main battle tank. For many years, South Korea operated 33 of these main battle tanks. However, these were retired in 2019. <laughs> 